about it, you know, and nowadays everybody that gets a reality show, they have to look perfect in the morning. And like, it's not that like, that was real. Like it wasn't stage. We didn't wake up and just be like, okay, like, what are we going to talk about? This is how we're going to do the scene and we need to look good. It's just like, let's wake up and let's just be normal and talk about it. How is it doing this podcast now and rewatching things like that? Like, are you loving it? Do you cringe? I'm going to be honest. It's so cringy to watch. I have not watched it in so long from what, 16 years ago. Like that's the only time I watched it. And then that was it. So I watch it. I look so, we all look like babies. I had my baby cheeks. My eyebrows were so thin. I mean, you know, now I've had, I've had my lips done a little bit like the injection, but, um, I just, everybody, all of us look different. We were babies. And, and then some of the things I said and did and how I acted and my relationship with Justin. And it's like, what, what was I thinking? If I could go back, I would do a lot of things differently and be more prepared, but it's, I, I would, th- I mean, listen, I can't even listen to an episode I did last week. I mean, I, I hate listening to this podcast. I'm just like, it's, I have to, and I, I cringe. So I can only imagine watching it with an actual picture of yourself and having it be that long ago. It's gotta be. It's hard. It's hard. And, but it's fun on the podcast to talk and we have fans call in and answer questions and kind of give behind the scenes, um, you know, like what really happened or before this, and then when the cameras shut down, this is what happened. This is what they should have got. Um, so it's really fun to, to talk about all of it. What are the, what's like the number one fan question when people call in or that people kind of want to know? It's always like, was it real? Was it fake? That is the number one question. Um, and then about mine and Justin's relationship, if I still talk to him, if if I think we have a chance in the future together. Um, and then about me and Brody, they ask about, um, gosh, just what else did they ask yesterday? A lot of stuff specifically about the episodes too. Like there was a question about Teen Vogue with Lauren and Whitney, but I, I couldn't answer that. Cause I don't know. So you're like, I wasn't there. Yeah. Some of this stuff, I really don't know. Was there anything like that you didn't want to do, you know, like that just stands out as like, Oh, this is so fake. Like, I don't want to do this scene or like, I don't want to go down this yeah, road. There is a moment where, you know, I went on this date with Sean Stewart and for the show, he's like so nice and so funny. And we had a, gr- a great time. Um, and then on the show, they kept wanting to take it to another level. And I remember, you know, we were all drinking in San Diego and they, I was pressured to kiss him for all of us in order to get a third season. And I was like, what? That's a lot of pressure. And I never kissed anyone on this show except for Justin. Why am I going to kiss Sean? It's so random, but you know, they had a talk with me and they're like, come on, Adrena, just do it, just do it. And I, and I watched that scene and that was really hard to watch because you could see it in my face and my body language and everything, how I was so uncomfortable and how I didn't want to do it. So when you watch the show, you know, kind of what's forced and what's not and what's natural. So, I mean, that's, you just watch and you know, instantly. In New Beginnings, your whole relationship with Sean, to me, to not seem like, like I, don't, I don't see this. I feel no yeah, chemistry here. It wasn't genuine. And then Brody and I have natural chemistry and you could, you could just tell the difference, you know, and Justin. And so filming things against your will or against what you would naturally do, it's hard because it comes across on camera like it's, it's fake. And <laughs> which, like, which I mean, I mean, it, it kind was. Of, and producers and like castmates wanted you to kiss Sean Stewart just of like we need a third season guys um well no that was coming from the producers I mean Heidi and Spencer love Sean and and Sean we went on that double date and we would always hang out and like us four had the best time together and I I remember like I had not laughed that much in so long so we had a lot of fun together but I just didn't have that romantic chemistry toward him like it just wasn't there so I tried, but it wasn't there. So I had to, that was the end of it. 
how real were other relationships like Ryan Cabrera, for instance? I love Ryan and that was real. I brought him on. Um, but whenever you're in a real relationship that's not on a TV show, it's different when there's cameras, it changes it. It changes everything. And 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 with that group of friends, like it was just so different, like the whole dynamic. And I, I really cared about Ryan. So I didn't want to use him or, you know, use him for the show or for anyone to hurt him or make him look bad. So, you know, I ended that. Is there anything you regret from the Hills or New Beginnings that you did? I mean, maybe kissing the whole Sean thing, but like, is there anything <laughs> that you like regret where you're like, I just, or no, no regrets? Um, I feel like this last season of the Hills New Beginnings, um, at that point it was after COVID and I was going through some really, really hard stuff um, personally that I couldn't talk about on the show. And so my outlet, it's like every scene we were always drinking and I probably, I was, I watch it now and my family knows me and they're like, Trita, you're tipsy. Like, and I was like, I know. And so you watch it and you're like, I probably should have just not had any alcohol and been on my A game and like been able to fire back and like, you know, but then again, it's like, you can't, I don't restrict myself from having fun and I'm going to be myself. So I just, I guess I don't regret that. If I could go back, I feel like I would have been more aware of what I was getting myself into and my, like, I guess how I express my feelings and I, a little more calculated. I wasn't, I just went for it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, you do talk a lot in this book choices about, you know, like losing your confidence, your self-worth, like finding your voice, like talk to us about that. Yeah. You know, I felt there was, I, I was, I was in a toxic relationship for a really long time. And a lot, this is a lot of the emails I was getting in or DMs from fans, like they could relate to that. So they wanted to know, how did I, how did I get myself back? because you're in a bubble and you're blinded by love and you slowly start isolating yourself and losing yourself. And, you know, I talk a lot about this in the book when you're being called certain names and always told you're this person that you're not, you kind of start believing it. And, um, yeah, I just, I lost my confidence. I lost like 20 pounds from being stressed out and, I was the worst. It was like, I was at, I was just the worst I've ever been. And everyone that knew me kind of started seeing that. And I didn't have that sparkle in my eye. And I 